we start today's Mailbag Monday experience with a diesel fitter stout from Torque Brewing in Winnipeg. Uh, very high IBU, but roasty, malty, dark, and spectacular. Yep, yep, yep. Let's start the opening with electronics times one. Seems like a reasonable thing to start with. Bunch of ICs. What are you guys? A whole bunch of them. More than will fit on one side. I don't even need magnifying glass for these. These are 4017 decade counters. As seen in such circuit boards as the good old Chase Light circuit. 10 pieces Texas Instruments CD4017, CD4017BE, Decade Counter IC. I got these ones from Satisfy Electronics for $1.33 Canadian. I'm not 100% convinced that they're genuine Texas Instruments, but I don't know, it's such a jelly bean part, I'm not that concerned that it isn't either. We all know what these guys are, I think, and if not, I'll link to a video where I'm playing with them up in the corner. Um... It's it's just a, a classic IC for for beginner projects and it, it's really versatile for all kinds of interesting little effects. I didn't really need these. I've got a bunch of surface mount ones, but I don't I noticed I didn't actually have any dip ones, so now I do, and I can fill my breadboards with them. Next in we have case times one. It's a little bit small for a case. Oh, it's one of these guys. It's just a 3.5 millimeter uh, uh, headphone type plug on this side and uh, screw terminals and on the output on the other side. Um, just a handy little adapter for experimenting and tinkering on the workbench and whatnot. 3.5 millimeter stereo female jacked AV screw video AV bell and I've ranted about that before. I don't need to go into it again. Uh, terminal plug adapter. This one from Passion 20314. Currently, they're selling for $1.33 Canadian. I got it for $0.48 cents at auction, which is the main reason that I picked them up. I am I mean, they're handy to have, um, and if I can get them cheap at auction, I will. I'm not going out of my way to buy a whole bunch of them at full price, though. This is going by fairly quickly. Um, what do we got here? One times modules. It's a module, all right. It's... Another D1 Mini. Okay. I think I got some of those last time. As I said, I didn't, I'd run out of them. I used the last one at, uh, for my Christmas lights, so I'm just stocking up on more of them. Um, from, again, from various random sellers, as I spot them at auction, if I can get them for cheap, um, I will. Um, they're, they're a super handy little module. Wemos D1 Mini Node MCU Wi-Fi Development Board Relay Proto Board Shield Arduino. Uh, this one from Top Electronic 1980. They're currently selling them for 304, but I got this at auction for two dollars and thirty-four cents. Again, anytime I can find these for under three bucks Canadian at auction, I've been grabbing them just to stock up, um, just because they're so damn handy. And the reason that title is so uh, so jumbly is this particular listing has a bunch of things in it, including the uh, module itself. Okay, next in is oh, one times modules. What a coincidence. Main modules tonight. Okay, what do we got in? Um, it's like deja vu all over again. It's another D1 Mini. Wait a minute. That other envelope. That's from the same seller. Except uh, it's not from the same seller. This one's from Go In Electronic. Um, pretty much the same title, very much the same kind of listing, same price selling. Um, this particular one I got for two forty six at auction. Um, but it seems that. It seems that Go In Electronic and Top Electronic 1980 both have the same return address on their envelopes. And the listings are virtually identical for the same stuff. Senjin Guangdong. Senjin Guangdong. Hmm. I wonder. 
well, yeah, it appears that they may in fact be either two different people selling out of the same warehouse or the same shop with two different names. Have you guys run into that before? Now, oh, hopefully this gets a bit more interesting. We have call it nut. And that could actually be what that is because I ordered some of those. And they are in fact call it nuts. These are for my Dremels. At least I hope they are. Um, you may remember I ordered or I got some in a while back in a different mailbag. I'll link that up in the description. And to my dismay, I discovered that there is more than one standard size for collets. Here's that other set that I got, and you can see that they're noticeably larger shank on them. And these ones didn't fit my Dremels, so let's see if these guys do. Actually, I'll, I'll go and look at the listing first, and uh, while I've got the camera paused, I'll go and get Dremel and, you know. Ten pieces brass drill chuck collet bits for rotary tool, 0.5 millimeter up to 3.2 millimeter with a 4.3 millimeter shank. A new from Yo Funny One. I'm not going to say that with a silly accent. You can do it if you choose to. Uh, currently, this guy's selling them for $3.87. Back when I bought them, they were $2.53 Canadian. So, yeah, the the other size are 4.8 millimeter, which is what I got previously before I knew that these came in two different sizes. I'm hoping that 4.3 is the right ones, and I hope these actually are 4.3 millimeter shank. Yeah, here's the other size, 4.8 millimeter. The ones that I previously bought didn't say. There's the two different kinds. All right, let's see if this works. I've got a couple of my Dremel tools. One of these mini mites that I got at a garage sale. Oh yeah. That works, and does that thread match? No, that doesn't match, but that doesn't matter as much because I've got a few of these. Does it work on the big guy here, on the AC powered one? That's where I really, that fits okay. And then that spins down on top of it. That's clamped down nicely onto there. And it opens up, perfect. That's what I wanted. Now I can donate these to I don't even know what tool that fits. Um, it might be a different brand. It might be a Chinese brand. And finally, we have one times expansion board module and one times plastic sheet. This didn't come from China. This came from my buddy Gadget Reboot in Ontario. Um, I didn't know that he was sending me this. So this is a bit of a surprise. See if I can get in here without damaging whatever magic he's got in there. Oh, a note and a heat shrink bag. What's in said note? Tis a kit. So he's pre-soldered surface mount stuff. Oh man. But, uh, oh, there's more stuff in here. Hang on. So in addition to all these uh, pieces parts there, if he knows I like doing uh, through hole. There's some surface mount parts that he's thrown onto here already. Some 603s, he said. Eek. And we've got some standoff feet for mounting it. Some header pins. These, he says, in the note are 555s. Which they are. I didn't need to verify it. I can trust him. And, uh, yeah, these little jumpers. Wow, that should be, uh, that should be a fun little kit to throw together. He suggests that I use my new soldering iron, this one. Maybe I'll try it, even though it's got this massive tip. I've been told that this tip can be used for drag soldering, a technique which I have never tried. But there is a little 8-pin 555 timer chip on there. And he included a spare just in case I butcher it. So maybe I will try with this iron, even though it's it's going to be a little bit awkward with the, with the large tip on it. I should be able to make that happen. So yeah, look forward to that um, coming soon. 
So what is he calling it? Well, oh, you can freeze frame on the note if you want and, and read it. Um, but he's got the, uh, the board uh, available on GitHub if you want to uh, look at it more carefully. Um, he's got a video, but I'm, I don't think I'll, I probably have watched his video, but I don't think I'll refresh myself before I do this. I think I'll uh, just go in relatively cold. And there is the contents of today's Mailbag Monday haul. Um, so what do we got here? This guy took, uh, what was that, seven weeks to get here? Wow. Oh, well, it was cheap. I don't care that much. Uh, one of the D1 Minis took three weeks. The other one took uh, about three and a half weeks, even though they were ordered two days apart. Whatever. Um, the 4017s took 31 days. The Collets took six and a half weeks to get here. And this, I don't know, because there's no date on the note. But it probably didn't take that long, because it just came from Ontario to Manitoba. Well, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate it, as always. Thanks to my Patreon supporters for helping me... Uh, Helping me fund this stuff and pay for the projects and whatnot and uh, buying me a beer. Thanks to Gadget Reboot for sending me this. That's going to be fun to throw together. And who did I forget to thank? I'll oh, thank you guys again for watching. I appreciate that. Uh, comments, questions down there as usual. I'll talk to you later.